I'm going to show you a totally busted, crazy money farm in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you do this, you won't need money ever again. You can get 250,000 LP per hour, or if you want it as Pokecoins, you can get 100,000 Pokecoins per hour, and at the same time, get 60,000 LP per hour. So 100,000 Pokecoins and 60,000 LP per hour, or just 250,000 LP or League Points per hour, which is what I would recommend since pretty much everything in this game you can just buy with League Points anyway. So the first thing we're going to need to do in order to do this is we're going to have to go to Mesagoza and from this western Poke Center, uh, you can head over to the east and this first shop right here, we're going to need to go into here to buy something. So there's a sandwich that we're going to have to make for this. So you're going to, and you're going to have the recipe by default. So don't worry about getting the recipe, you have the recipe. So you're going to buy pickles. I'm just going to buy like 30 of these now, now that I have so much money. Um, I've only done the farming for like 10 minutes. All right, so pickle, get as many as you want. Just buy them in equal amounts. So however many pickles you buy, just buy the same amount of the other ones. Then go over to this other shop. So one more time, there's the Poke Center. It's this last shop here on the left. So you're gonna go into here. And now what you're gonna buy is you're gonna buy ham. So we're gonna buy uh, 30 ham in my case. I'll pay with LP. And then I'm gonna buy 30 mayonnaise. And again, I'm going to pay with LP because LP is just the way. All right. And then 30 mustard. All right. After you get these ingredients, you are all set. Now there's another thing I have to almost ask you is where are you at in your game? How far are you into the game? Because you'll need a rock Pokemon, ideally, that's like level maybe 30 or so. Uh, the one that I recommend is Knacklestack. And you can get this Pokemon as a Knackly. It looks like a little mushroom rock back when it's... it's pre-born is base form so head out of Mesagoza east and all around the south promise area three poke center you can find them again it looks like a little mushroom rock and it's called knackly and you'll catch knacklies and then you'll level up a knackly until it evolves and once it evolves it should be strong enough to do the xp farming exploit cheese not really exploit but sort of um, which I'll have a, a link for that in the description of this video if you want to watch that But I'll give you the quick TLDR of it Which is once you have a knackle stack you get salt cure and then what you do is you head out west from Mesagoza. Oh darn it. Hold up All right, you head out west from Mesagoza and then go uh, To Cortando buy some like lemonades or whatever get some cheap healing items from a vending machine right by this uh, Pokestop then you're gonna follow this path. It's gonna wind around like this. It's gonna go up like this. It's gonna cross this bridge. Grab this Poke Center's fast travel by just resting out at it once. Then head up across this bridge. Head out here. Once you get to the desert, you can just cross the desert over to this Poke Center, Porto Marin Marinata, and go ahead and grab that while you're there. Then you're gonna head out this way, go across this bridge, come across here, go across this bridge, and head over to Medali, and then rest there so you get a Poke Center there. Then you're gonna head out this way, you're gonna cross this bridge, you're gonna go up here, you're gonna rest at this Poke Center, which is Glaciado Mountain. Then you're gonna go up to the north of there and get North Province Area 3. Now, once you have this Providence and you have those ingredients that I just talked about, and you have a knackle stack, you can go here and you can farm up XP on Chansey's here using what I'll, I'll um using the sandwich I'm about to show you. And then once you're strong enough to auto battle the Chansey's, which will be very early, because type advantage is totally busted when it comes to auto battles. So you only need your knackle stack to probably be like level 30 or something. Maybe might be able to do it at like level 24, honestly. I, didn't, I never tried. Um, but either way, once your knackle stack's level 30 or 35 or something like that, um, then it should be strong enough to win auto battles without taking almost any damage at all. So now that we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head north and we're gonna get over to this flat spot right here. And then we're going to open up the menu and we're going to start a picnic. Now, like I said, you don't have to worry about getting any recipes. The recipe we're gonna use, you'll have by default. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to make a sandwich. And before you make that sandwich, quick little edit here I had to throw in. Um, every sandwich also uses sandwich picks, which I almost didn't even realize because you start with 10 of them. And if you ever run out of sandwich picks, you can go to that store that we bought the ham and stuff at. So there's that same Poke Center on the west side of Mesagoza, that same shop that we bought ham and stuff at. They also sell sandwich picks. So if you go down to the very bottom of this shop, there's all these different picks that you can use. Now Mike is I'm just gonna buy the cheapest one, whatever. So just like I bought 30 ingredients, I'm also gonna buy 30 picks because every sandwich needs a pick and I had no idea actually. So as I was saying a minute ago, a minute ago, you're going to make a sandwich at your picnic table. 
And by default, you should have the ham sandwich recipe. So we're gonna make the ham sandwich recipe because it makes normal Pokemon found more often. So use whatever pick you bought, and then the ingredients will pop up. If you've never made a sandwich before, let me explain it real fast. So you'll have to move like this little hand icon over an ingredient and then press and hold A. You have to hold A or it'll drop it. And if you drop it, it'll get rid of it and it'll make the wrong sandwich. It goes through the whole animation is terrible. So don't mess this up. It's actually super annoying if you mess it up. All right, so you don't have to put them on good. You can do it however, way, whichever way you want. You can just troll and put it all on one side or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just gotta, you just gotta complete the mini game. You just gotta actually get everything on the sandwich correctly. Then the bread and then put the pick through. And then you are done making the sandwich. You have to go through some animations here and stuff. Uh, don't forget to press A at this next part or earlier it's here forever. So just press A. And then you have to watch this little cutscene here, uh, which I'll just skip for you because it's really long. Okay, so ham sandwich three star. And the main thing we want from this is encounter power normal at the top right. Um, if you get a better recipe later on that has a higher, like this level one encounter power normal, if you get a recipe for level two, Feel free to use it, but in level one is more than good enough. You're, you won't make very much more money by having it be level two. It really doesn't change very much. So now that we have that, you're gonna press Y in order to pack up and go. Uh, so that gets rid of the picnic. Now you're gonna get on your mount, make sure that you have your knackle stack or whatever Pokemon you think can kill a Chansey. Make sure to have it as your lead Pokemon. If you don't have to change lead Pokemon, open the menu, go in here and press Y on whichever Pokemon to swap it to your lead. Anyway, with your Pokemon that can beat Chansey as your lead, you're gonna go up to these Chanseys, you're gonna get kinda close but not too close, and then press R to send out your Pokemon for an auto battle. And what you're gonna do now, and then press, oh, you by the way, ZR to recall, which is really important because you don't want your Pokemon fighting the flower Pokemon because they'll just beat, beat it the hell out of it basically and it'll just lose. But anyway, so you're just gonna run up and down this path and now you should find Chanseys very often. Um, so a few tips for this. Uh, you can just like run over to the next one and get ready and then as soon as it takes it out just start spamming R and then as soon as you can it'll like go to the next one and then once it engages you go over to the next one and then spam R and it'll respawn right in front of you and you just want to keep doing this to every single Chansey that you see and then if you uh, are going to wait a little while just press ZR a bunch to recall it so it doesn't go and fight a flower Pokemon or something and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you're just going to sit here and farm like this for as long as you can stand to do. And the, we, the reason this makes so much money is because every one of these chances that you kill, because they're high level, they will give you 100 LP per kill. But on top of that, they drop Happiny Dust or Happiny Dust. I don't know how to say that thing's name. Uh, and that Happiny Dust is like, as far as I've found so far, it's the most valuable material in the entire game. There's probably something more valuable, but out of all like the basic things you can just go and defeat uh it is the most valuable one that i found if you sell it for lp it sells for 150 it sells for 75 if you want pokey coins but usually i would just recommend getting lp because you can just buy everything with lp anyway league points um but anyway another quick tip i want to point out is if you get too close to the chancy it'll run like that so there's like a finesse up to this of getting close but not too close the closer you get, the less time you have to wait till your Pokemon engages in the battle. But then, if you get, at the same time, the closer you get, the more risk you take that you'll slide in on accident and get too close. And then the Chansey will just run away like that. But you can get lucky sometimes and still get it. And something else I should mention is, uh, this is not just a money farm. This is also, coincidentally, like an XP farm too. You'll actually get a totally asinine amount of XP from doing this. So, um, yeah, it's actually an insane XP farm while you're at it. Uh, so there you go. Doing this, I've tested this actually, and it does in fact make roughly 250,000 league points every hour, which is enough to buy pretty much anything that you would ever want to buy in this game. You do this for one hour, and you are set for many hours of gameplay, unless you have some crazy master plan that you're going to do where you need to buy, like, 99 of some 5,000 LP item or something. Um, even then, how much does that cost? 5,000, 10,000, So two hours, you'd ha you could buy 100 of a 5,000 LP item doing this. That's how much money this makes. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That is the um, insane busted money farm exploit that you can do. Uh, you can do it pretty much early game. You just got to get a knackle stack and then level up a little bit here before you can auto battle. You might be able to auto battle at level 24 for all I know. Uh, so if you want to see the XP 
thing uh, with the knackle stack. Uh, you can check out my Titan farming video. I think it had it in it. Uh, maybe I mentioned the other XP farm. You can check out those videos. There's a lot of videos. Just check the description of this video. I have all sorts of videos. Where to find Firestones. Where to find Riolus. Like, where to, how to evolve Charcadet. Like, I, I've got tons of helpful guides for this game. Just check out the description. I have a big list of them. Uh, but there you go. That is how to make 250,000 lead points or um, 100,000... Was it 100,000? Whatever it was I said in the beginning. Like, 100,000 Poke Coins and 60,000 League Points per hour, but basically. 250,000 per hour of League Points in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet.